Um, hey everybody. Uh, this is my about a key smaller um, photographic arrow artificial alternate reality or desktop model um, because I feel that I could do all of them cheaper do all the pictures that would go on to a smaller one with the exact same number of pictures that the angles call for instead of having to have um, quadruple sets of them to cover a whole larger face. So these have the faces on them, but they have grids on the back which show the number of lettering through there. So I'm trying to get these replaced by the same type of uh, faces, the same face pictures, but without the grids on back because I got plenty of lighted, backlighted. And then you take the images. And inside, well, okay, first, these are the sets of images, the nine sets of dual images for the edge angles, edge on views. There's 12 edge on views. I got nine of them figured out. Um, and then I have a whole pile of a copy of the edge on views and the angle views. And what I'm waiting for now is um, to a double copy of a, um, the faces without the edges, without the grid letter numbering on the back. The grid letter numbering is that, which is on the back of each of these pictures um, for placement onto the cube. That's an angle picture or a corner picture. And um, inside the box, we'll display a holodeck background scenery and a, what it would appear to be a floating hologram of the um, cue, the photo cue I used to take the pictures in the first place. It would appear smaller, but it would appear to be floating inside here. It's the same as it appears to be. It would appear to float on the outside of the box when all the images are put together. And this would be backlighted too, so these same face pictures can't have any grids on them either. Letter numbering that will show through. But um, this is what I'm hoping to have done before Christmas this year, 2021. Um, well, thanks a lot.